Street burgers. Apparently, these are the best burgers in LA. They smash the patties super thin, and they've got like burger loaded fries. And also, it's a beautiful day outside. If you can't tell by the wind in my hair, it's like 60 and sunny. And I'm so excited. This is my first time ever in LA. So, we're gonna get some burgers and hopefully, they're good. We're starting out with the triple burger. So, it's three smashed patties, three pieces of cheese, pickles, and then this like famous sauce, which I don't know. And the bun is toasted. It looks so soft. Ooh, I'm excited. Oh, oh my god, the patty is like perfectly thin and crispy. And the pickles have like a little crunch, but they're still like really soft and tangy. And the sauce. It's so peppery, like so much flavor. Okay, let's try this jalapeno burger next. So it's got jalapenos, onions, Swiss cheese. I got this one as a devil, not a triple, but that looks really good too. It's just so thin and cheesy. Cheers. The spice from the jalapeno, it's almost better, but it's very different. I don't know if it's better, but it's very different. One more bite. Last but not least, we've got these loaded fries that look hilarious. They just put a whole patty on here and sauce and cheese and oh yeah. It's so tender too, it just like falls apart. Oh my god. Wow. Cheers. That's a loaded fry. The meat is so tender. The onions add so much flavor. Crispy, salty. I mean, this is one of the best burger experiences I've ever had for sure. All right, we just finished at Easy Street Burger. It was so good. We were also starving because it's almost 6 p.m. in New York right now. And this is the first thing we ate all day. So, but I feel like food is so much better when you're like so hungry and you're just like ravenous and then it's like 10 times better. But it was really, really good. The sauce has like a mustardy pepperiness that I really, really like. It goes well with like the richness from the burger. And it was just so soft and so juicy. Like the meat literally melted in your mouth. So yeah, definitely would recommend if you're ever in LA, Easy Street Burger. Thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. So I recently had my first therapy session ever with BetterHelp and it was literally so much fun. It just feels like you're chatting with like a great girlfriend, but then you actually get professional advice and tools to help with your mental health. Cause even when life is going great and you have a super strong support system, it is still incredibly valuable to talk to someone who is unbiased and can offer educated advice advice and encouragement. BetterHelp connects you with licensed therapists who can help you identify and address your problems with actionable steps. And they have over 30,000 therapists in their network. Getting started is also super easy. You can click the link below or you can go to betterhelp.com slash Carissa Eats. So you answer a few questions and then you get matched with a therapist that's best for you. And then you can schedule your sessions completely at your own convenience. You can do it over the phone or you can do it through chat or through video. So you can click the link below this video and you get 10% off your first month of therapy because it is time to prioritize your mental health. We made it to Sidecar Donuts. So this is another like viral spot in LA. Apparently the donuts are made like super fresh and then you're not supposed to know what flavor you're gonna get. You just go in and you ask them like which ones are hot out of the fryer and then they tell you and that's the one you eat. So let's get some donuts. So this is the bourbon pecan pie. It's a brioche donut dipped in bourbon and brown sugar glaze filled with homemade pecan pie filling and topped with maple whipped cream creme fraiche and sprinkled with brown butter pecan. Onto this bad boy. It's so light and fluffy and it does have that kind of like bourbon-y, almost like, again, kind of like a maple flavor. But apparently it has pecan pie filling, so we're gonna find out together. 
Oh. Oh, maybe? So this is the pecan pie filling. We're gonna try this part. I love pecan pie, oh my God. This is my favorite pie. And the creme fraiche on top is really light. Like it's not, again, it's not too sweet, which I appreciate. And then this one is the Saigon cinnamon crumb. So it's a sweet spiced Saigon cinnamon cake donut topped with vanilla glaze and house made cinnamon almond streusel. Oh. It's so moist, like like a really soft coffee cake, you know? And not too sweet actually, but it has like a great, yeah, like cinnamony, Christmassy kind of like maple -y flavor, but it doesn't like overpower you with sugar. It feels really classic, you know? <laughs> oh, and now we got the apple fritter. Yo. Just really love that they're not too sweet. Really super tender and like, it's got these chunks of apples in it. I mean, it's classic. Mm. It's so fluffy. And now we're heading to Griffith Observatory. We're gonna go watch a planetarium show, take some pictures. Um, maybe we'll get to look at the telescope. I don't know what's open right now, but you know, it's such an iconic place. And Chris has like always wanted to go there. So, you excited? Very excited. Woo! We got the hot sandwich. He said, be careful because it's hot. So I'm a little scared, but mostly excited. Wow. That's intense. Oh, it's as big as my head. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. oh my God, that's hot. And that's not even the howl on that's just the hot. Oh my God, that's so good though. The coleslaw is like sweet. It adds this sweet like crunchiness that helps so much with the spice. The pickles are amazing. There's so much of that like thick, creamy sauce. Yeah, I'll just take a big bite out of the chicken. It's like in the corners of your mouth and it like just burns and you can't get it off, but it's really good though. Damn, it's so flavorful. Like it's so spicy, but it's so flavorful. My mouth is on fire. Let's try some mac and cheese. Whoa. Now it's shells and cheese, not just mac. Big old shells. <laughs> Mmm, that is so good. That's so cheesy. It really helps. The creaminess really helps. <laughs> I'm gonna try these juicy fries because they are staring at me and they look so good. Okay. Mmm. Whoa. They've got like that sweetness from the coleslaw and they're still a little spicy, but not nearly as spicy as the chicken, but mmm, they have that like sweetness and then the crunchiness from the coleslaw. That's really good. The coleslaw goes so well with the fries. Again, it's so sweet, it's so good. We got the chicken and waffles. We got this big old boneless breast. Mmm, I love chicken and waffles. She just brought me gloves because she heard we got the Howlin' Tender and this is for safety. <laughs> I'm gonna try that last because I still want to be able to taste. Now we're gonna try this medium plus. So it's a little spicier than the medium breast. <laughs> With the chicken and waffle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm just gonna like take a little piece off. Some of that juicy chicken. I'm gonna put it on this waffle. So what you gotta do is you gotta just get a little piece of chicken, get a little piece of waffle, stick it on your fork. Chicken and waffle. <laughs> and then you give it a do. Cheers. Mm. 
That might be the best thing I've had so far. The medium plus has a lot of flavor. Oh, this is, and it's juicy too, like, can you see the juice? It's juicy. Medium plus is my favorite by far, because the heat doesn't overpower as much. I got the banana pudding, which sounds so good and fluffy and delicious after all of this spice. That's so fluffy. Cheers. That's what you need after all this heat. It just calms the mouth down. Okay. It's time to get howling, baby. I'm scared. Here we have her in all of her glory. The howling tender. I'm not scared. You're scared. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Delayed reaction. Whew. That's hot. That hurts. It's very smoky. It still has flavor, but it's painful to the mouth. Definitely go for the medium plus. This is, it's just too much. And now the saliva is starting. Oh, it's the kind of pain that's just gonna build and build, you know? Ooh. Center yourself. Oh my God, ow. That one raised, baby. Fire. More energy, more passion, more footwear, more blue. <laughs> wow, I feel like almost high off of the spice. That was intense. Really, really good. Super juicy, super flavorful, except for the Howlin' one. Did not have as much flavor. It was very hot, it made me cry. But the other ones were really good. Mac and cheese was fire. Super creamy, super cheesy. The waffles, the chicken and waffles were so good. Definitely get the chicken and waffles. And there wasn't a line, so. Yeah, if you come maybe late at night to the Pasadena location, you won't have to wait for like six hours. <laughs> so yeah, Alvarez. All right guys, if you've never heard of Erewhon, it's like an LA thing. It's like this super expensive grocery store where everything is like ridiculously priced. And we're gonna go and try to find like the most expensive items and see if they're worth it. My gut is telling me they're not, but every celebrity has had like a smoothie here, like a collab with Erewhon. So let's just go see what the hype is about, you know? Let's go. $12 for pomegranates. Restructured water for $14. I gotta see what restructured water tastes like. We spent a grand total of $132 because we ordered the smoothie online, so it's not on the receipt, but the smoothie was $20, so $132 on five items. But, I mean, I gotta say, the sea moss looks beautiful. I know it's gonna taste disgusting, and it was $40 for this beautiful blue jar of sea moss. I don't even know what it does for you. I couldn't tell you. I feel like I have to start with the restructured water. That was just too fun. The restructured water. <laughs> That's water. <laughs> I taste nothing. I guess that's the point. They really taste like the most nothing water I've ever tasted. As if I didn't even drink water. Just like nothing passed through my mouth. <laughs> that's the vibe of the restructured water. Hyper oxygenated. I feel alert, I feel alive. <laughs> I mean, hey, it tastes good, I don't know. If you, if you need to spend the money, you need to spend it on water. This little baby slider was $9, but it's got like a nice crisp 
on the patty there, and it's got like cheese, caramelized onions, it's got sauce, some sauce. Cheers. It does have like a crisp, and then the caramelized onions are really sweet, and the sauce is creamy, the cheese is melty. The patties are a little dry and the bun is whatever, but it's got a lot of elements. I feel like that's why they can charge more. There's a lot of components. All right, let's try these rice balls. She said, I asked the lady, she said these rice balls were her favorite, so. They look so sticky and pretty, shiny. It could have a little more salt, I think, um, but like the sticky, sweet sauce on the outside is really good. Tastes like a rice ball. I don't know. These are the cauliflower, buffalo cauliflower bites. This whole plate was $30. I feel like that's excessive for cauliflower rice in a slider, but it's not like insane. Cauliflower. Mm. Spicy. Okay, Erwa. It's got a nice kick and they're really well cooked. Like they're not too chewy. Ooh. Spicy. $27 for fruit. This better be the best mango I've ever had in my life. Oh, it's hard. It's a little sweet. Not the best mango I've had in my life. Kind of old. They're almost bad. You know what I mean? You can kind of see how like they're getting a little like slimy. <laughs> I bet better. <laughs> it's not, look, it's not bad, but it's not worth $27. For $27, like, I'm wanting this fruit to, like, blow my mind, you know? No. Go to freaking Walmart, you'll get the same quality fruit. Here we have the Haley Bieber smoothie. So this went viral a little while ago, and it's still on their menu, so, I mean, I saw three girls in there walk out with the Haley Bieber smoothie. So she's killing it. This is the description. Indulge in the luscious strawberry glaze skin smoothie. Made with creamy almond milk, organic strawberries, and avocado, it offers delightful blend of textures and flavors enhanced with collagen and sea moss for added benefits. Gotta get your sea moss, girls. It's all about the sea moss these days. Cheers to you, Haley Bieber, for all you put up with. Tastes like a strawberry smoothie. It tastes a little bit like a fake sweetener. Like it's got Splenda in it or something, but I don't think it does. It's a strawberry smoothie. I don't taste the avocado, which is nice. It's like kind of creamy because of the yogurt, but not worth $20. I mean, I feel like you would pay $20 at like Planet Smoothie though. It would just be bigger, right? Is my skin glowing yet? Thanks, Haley. I gotta be honest, I'm kind of scared to try this. Five calories in a tablespoon? Calorie friendly, girls and boys. It's just so blue. Oh, it's soft. Oh, that is like the softest thing I've ever put a spoon into. It's like the texture of, oh, I don't even know, <laughs> of sea moss. Look at how soft it is. It kind of reminds me of like the goo you used to play with when you were a kid because it has all those like bubbles. So it kind of looks like the goop, but it's a much softer texture. It tastes like water, but like when you can taste water, you know what I mean? You like taste it, it tastes like it's been in a sink or something or been in a bunch of pipes. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like dirty water from your sink. <laughs> and the water we tried tasted like nothing. So everyone's really charging for their water products. It's not bad. It's really not bad. It just it just tastes a little bit like like sink water. But I mean, it's not horrible. I, if you really have all these freaking benefits, this full spectrum Irish sea moss is handcrafted in small batches to ensure the highest quality. Forty dollars for sea moss. I mean, hey, I'll let you know. Maybe it like changes my life. I'll keep you updated. I guess.